Get ready to embark on a journey through some of the most awe-inspiring natural wonders on the planet, from the hauntingly beautiful glowworm caves in New Zealand to the breathtaking marble cathedral cave in Chile. Here are the top 15 most incredible caves and caverns in the world. Let's begin. Number 15. The Gomantong Caves If you're afraid of creepy critters, I'd suggest staying far away from the Gomantong Caves. And that's because this cave system is best known for being one of the most disgusting places on planet Earth. While the cave's beautiful limestone walls will rise up to an impressive height of 90 meters in some places, they're also covered with 2 million bats. This is a problem because they excrete extremely thick layers of bat poop all over the walls and ground. And with this guano, there are several million Malaysian cockroaches scurrying around down there. These are preyed upon by scores of animals such as snakes, scorpions, and giant centipedes. And while this hasn't stopped some tourists from venturing through the caves on a wooden walkway, it's an experience that many people can't stomach. Number 14. Pindaya Caves while Myanmar is a state currently undergoing intense turmoil, one site that's a must-see when the country becomes safer to visit are the Pindaya Caves. It's located on a vast limestone ridge. There are a total of three caves, although only one, which is marked by a large bronze bell and pagoda, can be explored. While just 150 meters long, it's filled with over 8,000 images and gilded statues of the Buddha, with most dating to the late 18th century and early 19th. Beyond the statues, these caves also have small chambers to the sides, with these being the place for the site's pilgrims to meditate in. As such, it should come as little surprise that the Pindaya Caves are considered to be an important holy place for people of the Buddhist faith. Number 13. The Marble Cathedral Step aside, St. Peter's. The coolest cathedral in the world is not man-made, but made by the elements. Carved into the Patagonian Andes on the Chilean side of the Chile-Argentine border, it's a sea cave that was formed by 6,000 years of waves washing up against a rocky outcrop at a remote glacial lake. Only accessible by boat and near impossible to reach by road, the caverns can be experienced by a guided tour. Their beauty is largely determined by the waters surrounding them. After all, the swirling blues of the cavern walls reflect the blue azure waters, meaning that the intensity and hue is dependent on the water levels at that time of the year. While this means it's hard to control exactly what experience you'll get, I suggest going early in the morning, as it's this time that the lighting is ideal and allows for the best possible pictures to be taken. Number 12. The Waitomo Glowworm Caves While worms are not usually a welcome sight, the Waitomo Glowworm Caves in New Zealand will completely redefine the way you look at these slimy, wriggly creatures. The cave was first discovered by the local Maori indigenous people in the late 1700s, although it was discovered by Europeans when English surveyor Fred Mace and local Maori chief Tane Tenerao decided to explore the caves of Waitomo in depth. Entering on a tiny raft from an above-ground stream, they lit their candles and descended into its depths. They were soon amazed when, through the darkness, they noticed star-like lights scattered across the ceiling and the stalagmites. They soon realized that these lights were actually glowworms, which were a type of bioluminescent larva common in the Waitomo Caves. Hanging there peacefully, they clung to the rock walls and hunted with long strings of sticky mucus, making them a fascinating sight. Since then, the caves have become very popular, and today many of the tour guides that bring people through the caves are descendants of Chief Tenerao. Number 11. Fingal's Cave If you happen to be a geometry nerd, then you can't get an experience much better than a tour of Fingal's Cave. It's located on the Isle of Staffa in Scotland. It's a sea cave that stands apart with rather immense dimensions, as it's 72 feet tall and 270 feet deep. However, what makes it famous is not its size, but its series of hexagon-shaped basalt columns. Located along the interior walls, they create a jaw-dropping passageway, and they're wide and plentiful enough to form a crude walkway, allowing visitors to visit the cave both by water and on foot. Unsurprisingly, its beauty has been an inspiration for many. After all, the ancient Scottish and Irish Celtic people who lived in the area knew it as the Uam Bin, or the Cave of Melody. And legend has it that it was the end piece of a bridge made by Finn McCool, so he could travel from Ireland to Scotland to fight his rival, Benadonar. Even outside of the realm of the ancient world, the cave has made its mark. After all, be it inspiring famed composer Felix Mendelssohn to write the Ebrides Overture, or becoming one of the Pink Floyd's early unreleased songs, Fingal's Cave has truly made its rounds. Number 10. The World of Ice Giants The Eisriesenwelt, which is better known by its English translation as the World of the Ice Giants, is a natural limestone and ice cave located about 40 kilometers south of Salzburg in the town of Werfen, Austria. 
Located within the Alps range in the Hochhugel Mountains, it holds the distinction of being the largest ice cave in the world. Extending more than 42 kilometers into the bedrock, this cave was formed by the Salshak River, which eroded passageways into the mountain. The ice formations in the cave were later formed by thawing snow, which drained into the cave and froze during winter. This has created an insanely cool interior, yet for years it was relatively unknown. That's because while the locals knew of its existence, they refused to enter it because they believed it contained the gates of hell, and it was only in the 1920s that tourists began to visit the area. Since then, the tourism industry has blown up, and the visit numbers have since exploded to 200,000 tourists per year. However, these tourists aren't allowed to see all that much. After all, because it is a protected natural monument, visitors can only walk through the first kilometer. However, given how incredible it is, this is more than worth it, especially since the ice within remains intact all year round. Number 9. Mammoth Cave While Kentucky may not be a state that's particularly well known for its geology, one thing that it has that is absolutely incredible is Mammoth Cave. Consisting of 675 kilometers of underground passageways, the cave first began to be surveyed 8,000 years ago by Native American peoples and stands apart because it holds the title of being the world's longest cave system. For those of you on the adventurous side, you can buy tickets to explore its depths. If you want to live on the wild side, you can choose to go through an 8-kilometer undeveloped passageway that requires you to crawl and slither through holes in the rock. If that's not your style, you can instead visit by candlelight in a pioneer-like fashion. If you're more of a history geek like me, you can make your way through part of the cave that was used as an experimental tuberculosis hospital in the 1840s. Started by the previous owner of the cave, it ultimately ended up being deadly, as all patients that stayed there ended up passing away. However, this hasn't stopped tourists from giving it a visit today. Of course, if you have no specific interest in adventure or history, you can even take a more general tour throughout the facility, giving you a broader overview. But the reality is, no matter what you choose to do, you can be sure that it will be a solid experience. Number 8. Trinu Kagadir now, generally speaking, volcanoes are something you want to stay far away from, and even if you do decide to get up close and personal, you must be extremely careful. But at this volcano in Iceland, you can enter the proverbial belly of the beast by exploring its lava chamber. While it has thankfully been dormant for the last 4,000 years, the volcano has one strange characteristic. You see, while most dormant volcanoes simply cool with their previously rolling ocean of magma in place, the magma that once boiled inside of this thing seems to have simply sunk back down into the earth, leaving a massive, stunning cavern. This makes this volcano the only one in the world where you can actually visit its magma chamber. Now, the cave was first discovered in 1974 by cave explorer Arne B. Steffensen. It was open for tourism in 2012, and in order to access it, you must hike out for almost an hour into the Icelandic highlands. And once you reach the site of the volcano, you must descend into the main magma chamber via a cable lift. This chamber is so large that it could reportedly house the Statue of Liberty in its entirety, and unlike the jet black obsidian of most other caves, it's toned into a gleaming pearlescent rainbow of colors. And while the price of 350 bucks per person is certainly steep, the fact that it comes with a guided tour and a meal of traditional Icelandic soup and drinks makes it all worth it. Number 7. Cave of the Crystals If you like crystals, then a trip to the Cave of the Crystals may be in order. It's also known as the Giant Crystal Cave. This geological oddity is buried 300 meters below Nica Mountain in Mexico's Chihuahuan Desert and was only discovered due to the work of miners in the area. More specifically, in April of 2000, two brothers by the name of Juan and Pedro Sanchez were digging a new tunnel for their company in search of silver, zinc, and lead when they stumbled upon this cave. Nicknamed the Sistine Chapel of Crystals, the cave has drawn in researchers from around the world, enticing them with both its beauty and scientific mystery. After all, the cave contains some of the largest natural crystals ever found, with some of the coolest being its massive milky white translucent gypsum beams measuring up to 11 meters long, 1 meter wide, and weighing up to 50 tons. Since these 500,000-year-old crystals have been left in near-perfect environmental conditions, they have just kept growing, and this led to a lot of study surrounding their development. However, actually performing the studies had proved to be difficult. After all, the temperature in the cave is about 50 degrees Celsius, and the humidity ranges from 90 to 100 percent, meaning that humans can't survive in there for longer than two hours. However, more than two decades later, scientists are still learning more and more about the cave's crystals, and are currently trying to understand how to protect and preserve the crystals for future generations. Number 6. Cueva de las Manos Prehistoric art, while often pretty basic, can often paint an insightful picture of the past. Cueva de las Manos, however, is still a mystery. While nobody knows exactly why it was created, what is clear is that it was a beautiful example of prehistoric cave paintings. 
Located in the Argentine Patagonia, the cave is filled with carefully made paintings. However, there are various styles to be seen, all of which are believed to have been created by different peoples at different time periods. The highlight of the caves is its painting of hands, which gives La Cueva de las Manos its name. These were not made by dipping one's hands in paint and pressing it against the wall. Instead, the hundreds of colorful handprints were stenciled along the cave's walls. Dating back to around 5000 BC, it's believed that local cave dwellers stenciled their own hands using bone-made pipes. Most of the prints are of left hands, indicating they probably held the spraying pipe with their right hands. To make the colors, different mineral pigments were used, with iron oxides for red and purple, kaolin for white, nitrojarsite for yellow, and manganese oxide for black. Beyond the Cave of Hands, the other caves represent hunting scenes and the everyday life of humans and animals in the cave. These date back to an even earlier time period, with the belief being that they were made around 7300 BC. If you'd like to visit, the area you must travel to is rather remote. However, by most accounts, a trip there is totally worth it. Number 5. Fairy Chimneys While the fairy chimneys may look like they were created by some sort of magic, they're an incredible yet completely natural phenomenon. Fairy chimneys were first formed when volcanic eruptions spewed ash over Turkey's Cappadocia region millions of years ago. This left behind a solidified material known as tuff, and eventually this tuff was layered with a harder rock known as basalt. As the forces of erosion wore away at the tuff and basalt deposits, a large array of natural pillars and caves were made. And while they stood untouched for millennia, humans eventually began to inhabit them. This habitation likely began thousands of years ago, as it's believed in the early years of the Catholic Church, early Christians would build homes and churches into the caves in order to escape persecution by Roman authorities. Even after the Roman Empire legalized Christianity, the fairy chimneys saw continued use, as they became a place to shelter from invading Persian, Greek, and Turkish armies at various points in history. Yet above all, the site today is both a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a tourist destination. While it may sound crazy, it's entirely possible to stay inside these caves in a hotel experience. One of the most famous of these is the hotel known as the Kayakapi Premium Caves, which allows you to stay in one of 43 rooms, all of which have access to an outdoor pool, a spa, air conditioning, and of course, Wi-Fi. While living in a cave may seem a little strange, few are more comfortable than those at Kayakapi, yet at a price of about $220 a night, a stay here certainly isn't cheap. Number 4. The Mogao Caves the Silk Road was one of the world's most bustling avenues for trade for hundreds of years, but the Mogao Caves were part of the route that was largely ignored. Located on the edge of the Gobi Desert in Juquan, China, there is a complex of 492 human-made caves and cells that preserve Buddhist statues and paintings that were created between the 4th and 14th centuries. Consisting of more than 2,000 statues and more than 480,000 square feet of murals, they are rich in cultural history. And if you look closely, you'll notice that the prominent Han Chinese style of the paintings are mixed with hints of Roman, Indian, Persian, Turkic, Mongolian, and Tibetan influences. While many are religious, many also depict more mundane or secular scenes, providing valuable information about the political, economic, and cultural context of the time. In an interesting twist, none of the murals were actually painted into the cave rock and instead were painted on surfaces covered with mud, straw, reeds, and lime. If that wasn't cool enough, the part of this complex also has a library filled with Chinese, Tibetan, Turkic, and Hebrew documents. However, while 50,000 texts used to grace its shelves, most have been sold to Western collections. In any case, while all this is incredible, it was very nearly lost to the sands of time. That's because a decrease in usage of the Silk Road over the centuries has led to a decline in revenues to maintain the caves, and by the 15th century they were all but forgotten. However, favorably climatic conditions and the remoteness of the site are ultimately what kept the art and texts within the caves alive, and when they were rediscovered in the late 1800s to early mid-1900s, serious work was taken to restore the site to its former glory. Given how incredible the Magao Caves are today, many would agree that these attempts were totally worth it and successful. Number 3. The Lascaux Caves When it comes to human heritage, few places are quite as important as the Lascaux Caves. Located near the village of Montagnac in southwestern France, it's filled with prehistoric paintings, all of which are so ancient that they're believed to be about 17,000 years old. Depicting many of the animals and realities that were seen by prehistoric humans, the cave gives us a fascinating look into our prehistoric past. However, they were only found in an extreme stroke of luck. That's because in 1940 the caves were discovered completely by accident, after 18-year-old Marcel Ravidat's dog robot fell in a hole. Ravidat came back to this hole with some friends shortly afterwards and discovered a vast expanse of cave paintings. 
After reporting it to the local authorities, it didn't take long for the Lascaux Caves to be made into a tourist site. As in 1948, the caves were officially open to the public. However, by 1955, carbon dioxide, heat, humidity, and other contaminants produced by the caves, 1,200 daily visitors had visibly damaged the paintings. And as the air conditions deteriorated, fungi and lichens began to infest the walls, further destroying the paintings. Consequently, the caves were partially closed to the public in 1963, with only a few dozen visitors per week allowed inside. However, even this proved to be too great a toll on the site, as by the early 2000s, infestations of mold had become commonplace. Unfortunately, this mold has remained a problem to this day, and as a result, many of the caves are now completely closed off to the public. It's also interesting to note that the caves seem to have no real purpose. After all, they were never used as a habitation or a burial site, but despite this, prehistoric people went through the trouble of using grease lamps and scaffolding to paint the walls. To date, the most plausible theory is that they were visited for ceremonial or religious purposes, although nobody really knows for sure. Number 2. The Blue Grotto The Amalfi Coast is easily one of Italy's most famous tourist hotspots, and of all the places in the area, few are quite like the Blue Grotto. Located just off the coast of the island of Capri, it appears pretty mundane from the outside. After all, it looks like a simple, small hole in the bedrock of the island. But if the sea is calm, you can sail into it and see some incredible sights. Named after the blue reflection of the seawater that illuminates the cavern, it not only has enchanting bright water but also incredible acoustics, making this 25-meter wide and 60-meter long grotto into an incredible place to visit. Beyond this geology, the Blue Grotto also has some incredible history. First discovered during ancient Roman times, it served as a personal swimming hole of the Emperor Tiberius, a man who loved the area so much that he moved the capital of Roman Empire to the island in 27 AD. In Tiberius's time, the grotto was decorated with several statues, and while these eventually sunk to the bottom of the grotto, the whole thing was rediscovered by the outside world in 1826, when it was found by a German poet, August Kopisch. Word spread quickly, and soon Capri and the grotto became part of the Victorian era Grand Tour that many noblemen and noble ladies embarked on. In later years, many of the grotto statues were recovered, and there's hope that more will eventually be discovered. If you'd like to visit it yourself, you better be prepared for quite an experience. If you like to swim, you'll have to break the law. After all, while swimming in the grotto is now officially forbidden, there are some who go out on their own after hours and swim around. If you'd like to go through more official channels, you can rent out a rowboat to take you there. As while high waves may cancel even the most well-planned excursions, the grotto is a great place to visit on a calm and sunny day. Number 1. Sondung Cave While caves may have a reputation for being dark, dank, and dingy, the Sondung Cave is anything but. It's located in central Vietnam. It was formed between 2 to 5 million years ago, but first discovered by humans only 30 years ago. The story goes that it was first located in 1991 by a local man named Ho Khan. He stumbled across it while searching for wood, but after dismissing it as unimportant, he left it alone for over 15 years. However, in 2009, two members of the British Cave Research Association were in the area, and while they were there, he decided to tell them about it. While he had forgotten the exact location, he eventually was able to find it, and it was with those explorers that he uncovered an incredible sight. Not only was it practically untouched, but Sondung actually turned out to be the world's largest natural cave. At a height of about 200 meters, a width of about 150 meters, and a length of about 9 kilometers, this 1.6 million square meter cavern is absolutely massive. While its size may be hard to picture, to put it into perspective, it could easily fit an entire New York City block inside there, including skyscrapers, or have a Boeing 747 jet comfortably fly through without its wings being in any danger. As a result, it should come as no surprise that Sondung is full of geological wonders. However, the most notable of these is the wall of 70 to 90 meter stalagmites found within the cave, with this calcite barrier being coined as the Great Wall of Vietnam due to its sheer size. Yet what really lands this cave on its list is not just these features, but the real-life jungles found within the cavern's depths. The cave is so large that it has its very own contained ecosystem, and due to millions of years of secluded evolution, it has its own endemic plants, monkeys, flying foxes, frogs, and insects, and others that are found nowhere else in the world. As a result, this cave is one of the most biologically unique places on the planet. If you'd like a tour, though, you'd better be willing to put up some serious cash. That's because excursions into the cave are extremely limited, as just a thousand visitors are permitted per year. 
To top this off, the tour company Oxalis Adventures is currently the only tourism-related firm allowed to enter Sondon, giving them a complete monopoly. As a result, they charge about $3,000 just for one ticket. However, due to the cave being so beautiful, and since the tour lasts for six days and five nights, many visitors say that it's most definitely worth it. I'll see you next time. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge. The Top 5 Show has launched channel memberships. Thank you to our channel members.